Hello everybody, I'm officially back on YouTube and I'm gonna be making videos again. Hopefully this time I can do it consistently and keep and keep it going. But in this video I want to talk about NHL 21 and what I believe EA should be doing with that game. The first thing I think they need to do with that game is add dynamic commentary. Now what I mean by this is when you hear a line like, here comes Claude Giroux down the line with the puck. Now. They say that instead of saying, oh, there's a player just going down the line with the puck. Now, obviously, for the most part, this is, like, already in the game. But this more so happens when, uh, when they're talking about the home or away team. They'll say, oh, the home team is doing this very well. Instead of just saying, uh, like, the Penguins are doing very well. Now, I think they should add this because, well, for one, they had time to add in Snoop Dogg this year. So if they're going to add him in the game, then the commentary should already be perfected, which it isn't. But it would also just give it a more realistic feel if they were to do that. Now, the next thing I think they should do is adjust the stick lifting penalty rate. Right now, I feel like you can stick lift like 50 times in a game and get a penalty maybe one time. I th and that's just not good. Like That's way too low. It needs to happen way more often because people make some really bad stick lifts. Like, in this video, you might see it. I'm not too sure. But, like, I'll be skating away from a player that's just stationary. And he'll just decide, okay, I'll just stick with him. And it works, like, 90% of the time. And it shouldn't be that way. He should be either slashing my hands or hooking me. And until they do that, then I don't think the game's going to be truly realistic. So, in my opinion, that's something that they definitely need to fix with NHL 21. The next thing they need to do is have faster menus in this game. Right now, they are painfully slow. Out of all the games I play, it easily has the slowest menus. Right now, like, I'll be an ultimate team, and there's just, like, four minutes of just waiting in menus. Like, for me, going on the first screen and hunt to going into a game, it takes so long, and there's no reason for it to be that way. Now, there's two ways they can go about this, either just actually making them faster, or by taking out a few of the menus. Now, in Hunt, when you have no more packs left to open up, it'll still take you to the screen to open up packs, instead of just taking you right to the Hunt main menu. And in my opinion, this isn't really the smart way to go about it, because you're just going to be wasting people's time having them do a bunch of button presses to go back into the Hunt main menu after it just loaded in the screen to say you have no more packs to open. The next thing they need to change with this game is the charging penalty rate. I feel like you get charging penalties a lot in this game, which is realistic. If you charge into a player, you will get called for it. But in my humble opinion, it makes the game more fun. And this is a video game. We want to have fun while playing it. Allow us to hit people. Take out, char well not take out, I just want them to lower it so it's easier for you to be able to hit people, just plow into them. The most fun I ever had in this game was when me and a guy scored, I think he scored 11, I scored 12 goals. In the third period, there's a total of 8 goals, I think we each got 4. In the second, we each got like, at least 3, like we were scoring a ton, it was so much fun to play, most fun I ever had, all we did was hit each other, and that's how I like every game to be. But what is the last thing in this video that I believe they should add? Either a hut create a player or a hut create a jersey. Maybe both. Now, I think they should do this because I think it would be amazing if you could make yourself and play on the same line as Wayne Gretzky, Claude Giroux, then two solid defensemen. That sounds like that would be a lot of fun. I want to do that. Hopefully everyone else would be on board with me. Now, what I think they should do with this is say um you get a 93 overall create a player card but since it's a, a create a player you're able to adjust their stats until you hit that 93 overall and in my opinion this would make this a lot better than just a preset card that has whatever stats it has because personally i'd rather have a guy that can skate and shoot ignore the defensive stats with him maybe have him hit people a good bit if you really just go for those three stats, I feel like you could make a pretty solid 93 overall player. But yeah, that that's just my opinion for that. With the jerseys, 
what I think they should do is... Well, they already have a creator jersey, man. That's actually pretty self-explanatory. But, um, obviously with both these ideas, they would have to monitor both player names and what they allow people to put on jerseys. Because you don't want to have people skating around with a dick on their jersey. That's just going to look very weird. And it shouldn't be in the game at all. But the final reason they should add this in is because they added in the Adam Thielen jersey, all the other football jerseys, um... Snoop Dogg, he, he got a jersey. Spin Chicklets got a jersey. And for me personally, when those came out, those were really cool. So I think it would be really cool to be able just to make your own. Because, like, you can just make it anything you want it to be. As long as it's not inappropriate, I don't see why you shouldn't be able to do that. But yeah, guys, that's all I got for this video. I will see you in the next one.